doing the things that I need. <laughs> Guys, I thought that this would be better, but I think that I look just like a former convict, something like that. I used to look like a bomb. Now I look like a former convict. What is next? Well, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the money. Hello, guys. My name is Juan. Juan. The solution to your anger. I'm 23 years old, and now I've been doing organic drop shipping for 10 <laughs> months. Yeah, 10 months. And now it's time to see what I've done this last month, April 2024. And I want to disclose one of my winning products. That is this makeup brush. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell. Looks pretty cool, isn't it? Oh my God! I've generated with this little makeup brush $5,000. This is how I did it. Now you might be thinking, but where did you find this product? <laughs> I found it on my Bonner account. And at the beginning I thought, well, I don't think that this is gonna sell. This is so strange. But I guess it has a wow factor. I guess it solves a problem <laughs> because you can do your makeup and other things, you know? And I thought, well, I'm just gonna like give it a try because I was so frustrated because I wasn't able to find anything, you know? I was scrolling endlessly and I still, I'm still like looking for new products and it's, this is the most difficult part of dropshipping to, to keep scrolling. This is the hardest <laughs> part of all dropshipping, I think. But I finally got this product. I ordered it and I started to record. And now I want to show you how I make my viral videos. This is a famous makeup brush, and now I'm going to show you how to make it go viral on Instagram multiple times. Well, guys, this is pretty much what I've been using to, to make this, this little thing go viral. First of all, I, a normal makeup brush. Second of all, this glass of water. And third, and the third thing is this like all make, uh, makeup box i don't know what is this uh but this thing yeah and now i'm going to show you and and the background the background is important i, I try to to use the most aesthetic thing that is in my house this is the most aesthetic thing all the other things look super awful i know that this is this looks so so awful but whatever it is what i have and i just have to work what I, with what i have and improve 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 the next time i know that i'm going to make more beautiful aesthetic backgrounds and that's going to improve a lot in my brain, my views, all that stuff. This is the soft box that I've been using. I'm just going to, going to turn it on. Yep. And if you watch, it's completely different. Just Let's just like look the normal setup. This is like trash video. Yeah. But now let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. And obviously Put it as close as possible that you can to your product. And now let's see. It's completely different. This is completely different. Obviously, the most optimal thing that I that I had to do is to have another softbox in this direction to, to eliminate that, that shadow that you can see here. But whatever, you know. First of all, with this product, I like to adjust the camera, the iPhone camera like this. Yeah just to make it look closer in this case because it's just so little, you know? That's what she said. One, smile through the pain. I don't need like a, a bunch of space in this case. In other pros, I like to use the white option, but I think this looks a little bit more awful because you can see all the other things. And I think that one of the most important things is to just focus on your product and not in the trash that is, that is out there. Sometimes it helps to have like some some little things in the background, but I think that it looks so like so disgusting to watch that and that and that's why I just want to like make it a little bit more closer. It looks more beautiful in my in my opinion. I'm going to take like this thing, drop it, the classic one. The next video is going to be just like trying to to use the the, the makeup brush. This. <laughs> now, let's take this. Mamma mia! 
Yeah. I think this is an important thing that I've been doing because sometimes I make, I don't make like the same movements. I don't know how I do it sometimes, but I move like my, my, my fingers so weird that it goes viral, I think. Yeah, I like that. Now I'm just going to like, like, do the same thing with the, the, the cool makeup brush, you know? My makeup brush. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to do this next thing, like open it, yep. After that, just like, I prove that it won't move, yeah. <laughs> what else? Now it's time to use the makeup brush. Now it's time to, to use the makeup brush. Just turn it on. In this case, if you watch, if I use like, in this position, you can see a lot of shadows. So I'm just going to change my hand. Do, do it like this. Mamma mia! And another thing that I like to do is to like just change angles. In this case, I'm going to use this angle. Yeah, you have to, to change things every second, you know, and to keep entertaining the audience. Now I'm going to just edit the video really fast to show you how how I edit this video. Now I am in CapCut and to be honest like the most important thing that you have to do is to film well to do very good like videos and at this moment it's just like chopping up the videos make it shorter and fast paced and that's it. In this case I'm speaking on the video because I'm trying to explain you how I did it to make it go viral but normally I don't speak. I, I just like to have the the sounds on the background because I think that it, it, it is more engaging to to like have the the audios in the background. But this time I think that I'm going to just like that like mute the clip, yeah, to don't hear my my voice. And this is how the video looks after you chop up every part of the video that doesn't like add anything, any information. Yeah. <laughs> uh. And that's it. Sometimes I even like uh, speed up the video. In this case, I'm not going to speed up the video. I'm just going to let it like this. And now it's time to, to write something. This is important. I think that is one of the reasons that I've been going viral. I make like a contrast, it's like a prototype versus product, but it's different. I try to don't use that much prototype versus product. I try to like just make comparisons. In this case, it's going to be mm, your makeup brush, your makeup brush. Yep. And uh, like this face, <laughs> a disgusting face. And I'm just going to to adjust the test, the, the text, yep. I've just noticed that I wrote this bad, this makeup brush. Uh, I didn't mean to make this mistake because sometimes it goes viral with these kind of mistakes and we don't want to do this. Uh, we, we want to like make it viral for the right reasons. And now, versus, yep. And in this case, I use like a funny, funny phrase. In this case, I'm going to put our, our self defense, defense makeup brush. This is so funny. I just like, suddenly I, I was using just like our makeup brush, but then I, I, I like these kind of videos, like remind me to, to the, the videos that people make that they are like 
like little weapons on your necklace or something like that. I just like had this idea to to like make a little a little bit more controversial, saying that this is like a self defense weapon. And what I've noticed is that some people, obviously, everyone knows what is this, what what is this for, and just people like start to to comment on the video and say that <laughs> what kind of self defense are you talking about, uh, and and all that all that stuff, and people like start to laugh and and share the video and all that stuff. At this moment, I'm just going to like add a uh, TikTok music. This is an update. Since I upload the video on Instagram, it has passed around seven days, one week, I think. And these are the views that I've got. It's over 9,000! 400,000 views. And guess how many sales? Just two. Just two. Yeah, I'm cooked. You don't understand why are you doing this, bro? I have been this shit all day, bro. You play you no matter what, bro. I don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, brothers, because it, even though it looks like so easy to just like film this product and make some sales, it wasn't that easy because I was like filming this product a bunch of time with zero views and with like low views and suddenly I went viral. It was like not instant success just by filming this video and uploading and, and getting a million views. It was more like a mental game because I have to continue uploading this product and I thought, oh, this is pretty dumb. I don't know what I'm doing. But at the end, I managed to make it go viral. And sadly, this product, it doesn't work anymore. I've been going viral with this product recently and I don't have any sales. These are my results of the last months. I started with this product around December and on December, at the end of December, I got $2,000 in total sales. January of this year, $2,000. February, $856. March, $399. And April, only $60, yeah. At this moment, it's pretty dead because I got like a viral video a couple of days ago and zero sales, so yeah. And I have other problems that I want to discuss with this product. The first problem is that this product is pretty controversial because I was getting banned constantly on TikTok and also on YouTube Shorts. I got like, like one account that got 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube Shorts and uh, at the end I got banned. I was getting like 10K, 20K, uh, 100K views, but I got banned. But the biggest problem of this product is that it doesn't compare at all. What it means is that I was going crazy viral, but I was getting so low sales. Let me show you. I've got one video with 1.7 million, another with 3 million, 1 million, 969,000 views, and another videos with a thousand views, 10,000 views. I was going crazy viral, but no sales, you know? My conversion rate was 0.01%. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. And my, my conclusion is that like girls doesn't really want to buy this. They just like tag their friends because it's so funny and all that stuff. But at the end, girls just play with your feelings. And you get hurt, as always. Feel bad for Juan. You got it all wrong. Juan smiles through every punch. Don't feel sorry for this little plonker. The main lesson of this product is that you have to choose wisely. Because in this case, I think... <laughs> I choose a dumb product, I guess. At least I make some money, I guess. And I took some abilities that I'm going to apply in the future in the next, in the next products but I have to choose better. That's the main thing that I have to improve. Now the results of... <laughs> and now these are the results of April 2024. I managed to get $3,400 in dollar sales, and my profit is around $1,500, around that. But Juan, how do you manage to get the double sales if you sell that you only get $60 this month? You're a liar! <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> no, guys, I'm testing multiple pros at the same time. I have four stores and... Four stores. <laughs> I have four stores and in there I have multiple pros that I'm testing. And I'm, going, I'm not going to lie, brothers. All these pros are trash, just like this one. I think that I have to just change something. Uh... I'm I'm doing this I'm doing this stuff so so wrong, brothers. I have to I have to get some help. This life is paid to win, so it's time to get a mentor. Hello, who is this? This is Juan. I need you to teach me how to drop ship. Let me guess. Nothing work, right, Juan? Yeah, nothing work. Nah, I'm busy. Don't call me anymore. What the? What's up now? I'm in the middle of something here. Listen to me, you little shit. You know that you owe me one for what I did last night. You wanted the hot chick, so I took one for the team, and I f the fuck girl. And you know what else I saw that night? Okay, okay, calm down. I'll help you. 